What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Wolf from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. And uh, this went big. I got this from Becky over the weekend. I didn't get a chance to get it out. And uh, it looks like Jason Hunter did a video on it. It's going viral. It's already got 50,000 hits and it's just, what, been a day since he put it out? And it was a real f quick 45 seconds. Sometimes those 45 second videos are so much easier to share than what I do here. So I wanted to go over this a little bit. And he, basically his video is entitled Leg Bone. And this thing is pretty cool. And she sent the same thing. She sent this to me. And she was adamant. Like this thing is definitely a leg bone. Check it out. Here's his right here. You can find it. Leg Bone and Mom Lee. I'll, I'll link his video below. Um, let's see where he's got now. I think he's already got 51, 53. It's just blowing up today. So... That definitely looks like a leg bone or something like it. Now, there's two shots of this, and it looks like that uh, Curiosity rover didn't move for two days. It stayed at the same spot, taking a look, taking samples. Um, there was also some samples done of an area. This was on saw 719. This is one that I'd gotten uh, sent over to me, I think, by, by Becky. She's one of the subscribers here. She's got some awesome stuff out there. Um, she puts uh, she puts all sorts of good stuff out. She's got pictures she sends. This thing's pretty cool looking. It looks like it's got a little arrowhead next to it. Not you know, not necessarily it's just the shape of an arrowhead, but just interesting to say the least. Um, this all looks like new abrasions. This looks like it's been chopped off lately, and I don't see anything that the rover could have done this. Um, there's no marks in it or anything along those lines that would say, hey, look, the rover uh, cut this. And the other one has more of a, uh, where's it at, this one right here, has more of area that you can actually see another piece that looks to be, where's it at, let's see my trackpad went out again, I gotta get some new batteries for my trackpad, um, it's in this one somewhere here, okay here we go, right there, look at that right there, it's just kinda interesting how that took place right here, Oop. As I move it on over right here look how perfect that is like rounded off it doesn't look like human bone or anything it just looks like a piece of something that's been shaped out who knows what it looks almost like it's something handheld and a lot of the uh, stuff I've been reading on like he's getting a lot of heat anytime something goes viral on the internet people come and just bombard your channel with junk all the videos I've had that have gone you know semi-viral people just get ignorant they've got everything to say oh that's just that that's a that's you know oh that's too little that's too big now let's just compare this as if it was a bone you know that came from who knows a human or some sort of life there I'm just going to pull the temperature down we're not even going to do this in Photoshop we're going to do this right here um, up top you've got this piece and at the bottom you've got what looks like the ligament for see my my trackpad down there keeps coming in and out. But here are some bones that I had found, uh, you know, just today. So let me move it over to here, and then we'll move it on back. Let's see, here's another one. And it's got, here's an older one. This was an older fossil we had found here on Earth. And it's got that piece up here. Let's check it out again. It's got this here. Bam. It's actually right there. And at the top, it's got this real weird piece here. Now, now like I said, we're not sure what the size is of anything living on Mars was. I would assume that stuff on Mars is most likely smaller than here just because the planet's smaller. Um, the atmosphere is, you know, doesn't have as much oxygen as here. And that's just me because who knows how life really evolves on other planets. Um, we, who's, who are we to even say or even uh, speculate that we know? Um, but so we don't know the exact size of this. And that's another thing with the Curiosity rover. It's hard to get scale. I was down at the uh, National Museum. Well, I was down at the Air and Space Museum. And I got to stand next to the model Curiosity rover. And it's about my size. I'm about 6'3". And it's about my height. So looking down, it helped me a little bit with uh, some of the mass cam shots and stuff like that. But I don't know, guys. You see the similarities in the bones? I must say this dust definitely looks like this is a piece that was connected into like a joint or something along those lines and the top looks more like you know like the hip or something along something that was riding in and you see it even has like an, a little divot in it so what do you guys think comment below his the link to his video will be in here I uh, definitely wanted to put it up there with just the uh, the comparison between the, the photographs just so you can see and then we'll go back to it so one two you know, even if we put them, let's see if we can do. All right, say we put this one right here. It's not going to let me put it side by side, but 
Let me flip back to that. You see, it's got even that long piece, and this—we're not. Nobody even said this was from a human leg. You know, this could be from another animal, but it looks like a bone, and the, it's a long, elongated piece there. And if you look here, see how the bone on here looks a lot more smoother, though. I must say. Now, this was, like I said, taken from a fossil. This was an older one. I think this was millions of years old. They—they they, they were saying um, from the website I found this from. Um, but. Who's to say that this isn't, you know, or what type of animal it was from or something, or if it's even a leg bone, but it looks like a bone. So I'm going to leave it to you guys, see what you guys think below. Like I said, Jason's video will be linked below. The more uh, the more stuff we get out, the more stuff goes viral, the more people come flocking into these videos, the more stuff is going to get hot. I still can't believe that they, they're not going to sample that wet spot. Well, it looked like water. Even if it wasn't water, it could be, you know, we'd want to know what kind of liquid was flowing at one time on that planet, especially if it's flowing right now. So if you check out my videos from a couple back, um, check me out this weekend. I'm going to be on uh, I have Sirius's radio station. Um... It's a uh, blog talk radio. I'll put the link in below for it. It's going to be, uh, I think, at uh, 1, 1 p.m. on uh, Saturday. I'm going to be on there talking moon, Mars anomalies, stuff like that. Should be a good time. I haven't done a, a radio show in a while. I used to host a radio show. I thought about bringing back a radio show for a while. But anyways, guys, what's up in the sky 37, www.whatsupinthesky.com. Much love to you all. I'm going to keep this nice and short and sweet. What do you guys think? Is that a bone or is that just a crazy looking rock? Peace.